What's up ladies and gents and welcome to week 227 of our League of Legends top 5 plays for an episode that's stacked with ELO so it's definitely one of my favorites as of late. We have an RP giveaway at the end so stick around if you're interested but for now it's time to unveil our number 5 play and kick off the episode with level 100 Rattata on Irelia. She's hugging the tower while waiting for the creep wave to come in but the enemy Vi was waiting behind the tower and plans to dive. Just as they close in, she levels up and joins the tower by getting on Cho'Gath, stunning him as the rupture goes off and Vi goes ham. He flashes out but she follows with her Q, instantly returning to Vi with blade surge to a minion and then to her before flashing away and kiting for the 1v2 double kill. Our next clip takes us out of Summoner's Rift with a high elo rank 3v3 play from Life on Nautilus. His allies are dead so the enemy team are trying to take Vilemal but he's here to disrupt them to prevent the snowball. With J4 still on it, Nautilus sees and rushes in, forcing Jarvan to turn as they stack shields but a great ult keeps Jarvan closest to the spider for some assistant DPS. Jarvan EQs away but Vilemal pulls them all back in, setting up Nautilus for a 3 man riptide slow which allows him to back up and not get targeted. Karma goes down followed by J4 which leaves him and Orianna to duke it out for the 1v3 triple plus the added buff that he takes right off their hands a moment later. Coming in at our number 3 spot, we have no one escaped on Alistar, but this play centers around the superb teamwork between both Alistar and Vayne. Things start out bad as the enemy Fizz gets TF, but Vayne shows up and gets on the fish, completing the buff transfer. They both swap targets to Nautilus, but here comes Graves, so Alistar instantly exhausts the buckshot and Vayne tumbles back to dodge the ult. Alistar lands a devastating 3-man knockup to allow Vayne to finish Rek'Sai, and just as Graves puts down the smoke screen, Vayne gets off her auto on Nautilus for the triple kill. Neither of them have many cooldowns up, so they just sit on Graves, but the moment Ribbon Flash stuns, Alistar knocks her back which allows Vayne to get the kill and summon her heal away. Thanks to red buff, Vayne can kite back which forces Riven to give up on the chase for now and retreat towards the brush to try and outplay. She tries to turn an Alistar but a great condemn buys him just barely enough time to keep the bull alive which gets Vayne the pentakill. Landing in at second place, we have another solo outplay, but this time in the mid lane from Kui on Azir. He's pushing mid and minding his own business when Gragas comes to gank, but since the enemy Kogma is so far back in lane, he decides to juke the body slam and turns a fight. Azir ease to dodge the void ooze, followed by a juke on the ult as he runs Gragas under the tower before pinning him against the wall with his ult. He flashes the living artillery and then just barely hits Gragas with the soldier, manning up with his barrier to fight Kogma for the double kill. For a brief moment, it looks like Azir might go down, but a final E to his soldier pulls him far enough away to keep himself alive. Let's go back and have another look at some of the highlights of that mechanical outplay in such an intense fight where one wrong move means death. Pay close attention to the jukes and dodges while he finds the right timing to steal deal damage and rack up some kills. And for number one pro play for this week, we have Jojo McAfro Jr. on NAR with a sick comeback play despite being behind 7,000 gold. Tension is high because Ash is bot lane and the enemy team are pressuring Baron, so NAR groups up with his team, but a hook starts the fight. Jojo builds up his rage bar while retreating back to peel the Lee Sin, but right as he starts to go mega, he breaks line of sight, and then all of a sudden he emerges with a nasty five man ult into the wall, chained with a massive wall of Ash arrow and then WQ combo from Alistar, which is just about curtains for Red Team. Cog snipes out Aurelia away in the back for the Penta kill as Blue Team immediately groups up mid for some objectives. That was one of the coolest, unique, and best chain wombos I've ever seen, so let's take a second look before we move on. Everything from the Nar CC to the arrow splash damage and the E from Kog'Maw added up to cover the gold disparity and get blue team back in this. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have Hoys on Thresh, and this play is multiple levels of fail from both teams, but in the end, Red Team comes out victorious. Right now, they're trying so hard to get a kill on the bot lane, but then Thresh lands a sick hook on Alistar, pulling him onto Caitlyn's trap. Shaco E's and Thresh ignites to get Alistar low, flashing over the wall, but he cancels his auto attack and then gets punted over while Shaco deceives to get the kill before taking the lantern back out. Skarner is coming to try and clean up some kills, so they decide to peace out, but the enemy Vayne goes for the kill and just barely comes up short, dying to the creeps as Red Team swags out. That play was a roller coaster ride of impressive moves followed by fail after fail, so let's roll some of the highlights again as we wrap up the video. To change things up a bit, Skillcap wanted to do an RP giveaway for you guys with 5 total winners, each winning $10 directly to PayPal. All you have to do to enter is comment down below letting me know the best way you learn to improve. Is it through streams, champion guide websites, educational videos on YouTube, playing a ton of ranked? There's just so many different ways to improve and I think it's safe to say everyone learns differently so I'm curious to hear what suits you best. With that being said, all the information is pretty spread out and that's one of the best reasons why I like using Skillcapped. It takes a lot of the elements you learn across a bunch of different streams, websites, and videos and brings it all together on just one website. It's super convenient and I think it's something worth trying to see for yourself so if you're interested in taking a further look, there will be a link down below in the description box. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to comment for an easy shot at some RP and we have more videos coming up this week so stay tuned.